Welcome to the Partmaster milling simulation. This is the standard Partmaster interface where we create the program using the menu system and the toolbars. When we've completed the program we can simulate. This gives us full machine tool simulation. So the first thing that we can do is set up the stock material so we can put a border around the maximum and minimum sizes of the component and that will represent the stock. We could also generate the stock from a bar or a block or we can import an STL file. We can also import an STL file for the original component. When we run the simulator, we can view the complete machine tool or just the component. Here we see the component. We can switch on also the complete machine tool. If we need to, we can open the doors so we can see the component more clearly. Here we can see the stock and the original STL model. If we don't have an STL model, then no problem. We can just switch it off. The stock material can be shown as solid or transparent, as can the tool. To run the job, we have simple video controls at the top here. We can define sizes for the tool holder and any associated arbor and the system will check for any collisions between the tool, the arbor and the tool holder. It will also check to see that the flute length of the tool is not overcutting. At any time we can zoom in and rotate the graphics to see any particular detail. If we want to we can switch on the initial stock and we can switch on the initial workpiece if we have the STL model. If need be we can hide the simulated stock and we can switch on the toolpath. We can run the graphics with just the toolpath shown as you see here. At any time we can replay the toolpath and reset the parameters. We can also measure. So if we need to find a particular position then by pressing the center mouse wheel we get a distance. We can also compare the sizes between the machined model and the original model. At any time we can reset the graphics and rerun the toolpath. If we don't want to see the machine we switch to workpiece focus and we see just the workpiece. The simulation speed can be increased or decreased as we need and we could also go into complete mode where the tool is not shown but the completed simulation is. 
this is working on a vertical machine we could also simulate a horizontal machine tool and also machines with a fourth axis rotary table attached at any time we can pause the simulation and restart it or we can stop the simulation on the right hand side here we have a list of program operations and we can run the tool just on those particular operations that we are interested in seeing more of the report window here would contain any collisions and we can zoom in and analyze those conditions So that's the Partmaster Machine Tool Simulator.